Hey, welcome to Palm Pounding Production. Today, we're going to be turning for trout. You think I'm going to use corn, but no, see, we took the corn out of the jar. Oops, got a secretary clean that up. What we do is we take the turd and we dip it in the corn juice. After it dips in the corn juice, we let it dry out. If you put the corn on the turd, you don't catch a trout. Then you is crapping for carp, and that's a whole new segment. Today, we're taking you out to a trout field, but I can't film nothing. This is private property, and I don't want to get in trouble with the police. So I'll show you some pictures, and then I'm going to show you how we cook our trout. Like I said, don't you take your turd and you dip it in the corn juice. Don't put the corn with it. That's the carp. One more time. Easy. Take the turd. Dip it in the corn juice. And after a while, you have you some nice trout bait. Store-bought fish isn't tasty anyway. I get my fish from the river. Your boat will do. It'll do me just fine. Put me to the middle of the wide blue lake. Five fishing poles. One for every fish. Gonna get my dinner from the clear deep that number one fish was a rainbow trout. It pulled me right and it pulled me left. It's my fish. I caught it myself. Gonna taste good tonight. Five fishing poles, one for every fish. Gonna get my dinner from the clear deep water. Okay, welcome back to Fawn Pound and Productions. I can't show you where I caught these trout, but know that I caught a mess of them, and I'm going to show you how to cook them tonight. Well, we're going to start off with our flyer. Flyer. White stuff you cook stuff in. We're going to put about a little bit of this cornmeal in it. Just a little. A teaspoon of this. It's Mexican stuff for trout. They don't speak English. And just because of Mexican, we throw us about a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. You know they like it hot. And our secret ingredient. All I know is Lowry's. And then we're gonna mix it all up. We usually soak our fish in buttermilk. But I ain't got buttermilk. So today, wow, that's hot. I made me some buttermilk. I pour butter in my milk. Woo, that's warm. Let me get everything ready here and I'll get back with you. Now that we've let this trout sit in in our buttermilk for a little bit, we're gonna flour her up nice and pretty. Get it ready for the fry pan. You could do this out of the campsite, but where I was at fishing, I don't think they'd like me making a fire. You'll see, I'll, I'll show you some pictures. But now that this is all nice and pretty and breaded, you put it in your grease. At 350, your grease should be perfect for cooking this brook trout or Sally trout. I don't know what her name was when I called her. But let you know, she was caught. And 
when I'm done here, I'll get back with you and show you what it all looks like. Turden for trout. Do you folks like coffee? Real coffee from the hills of Columbia. The Duncan Hills are real. Sorry, people, but our geese have laid down for the winter. See you again next summer. Hey, welcome back to Palm Pounding Production. Today we're showing you how to cook some fish, most likely the trout that we caught earlier. Let me check on this fish here. Don't let the looks fool you. This is actually trout. We call it turkey trout around here, but this is trout fish. And I'm going to tell you how I made this here in just a little bit. Stay tuned. Okay, now that our shrimp, trout, let's start that one over. Yeah. Yeah, so. Man, this trout sure is good. We can catch some more. Son, we'll catch some more when our... Let's